I'm standing here with Matt Carroll inside Double Diamond Ski Shop. You guys have everything under the sun in here. Yeah, we've got, uh, we're pretty much fully stocked, ready to roll. I and know. Uh, with the way the season's starting, it's a good thing. Right, and you've got some necessities. This is something that people absolutely need to get out and enjoy the mountain. Absolutely, and uh, yesterday we had a, uh, you know, obviously snowed, a lot of snow. Last couple of weeks, actually, we've seen a lot more snow. Thing, uh, something a little different than it was last year. And uh, one thing I wanted to touch on, we had a lot of uh, goggle fogging issues yesterday. And the one thing uh, on goggles that uh, people don't realize, they've got these vents up at the top that lets the air in and out. And particularly on snowy days like yesterday, those can get filled with uh, snow or moisture and that's gonna cause the goggles to fog. So one thing really important is obviously try to keep this area clear of snow and moisture, but also don't, uh, don't keep your goggles on top of your head. Um, ideally, keep your, put your goggles on before you go outside, leave them on your face to uh, equalize the temperature of the lens in your body. Uh, the other thing is never touch the inside of the goggle lens. A lot of people, if they, particularly if you fall, goggle comes off or gets snow inside it, they want to wipe the inside of that, but the, uh, the, the better quality lenses have a, a treatment on the inside of the lens that uh, prevents the fogging, so never wipe that inside. The best thing you can do really is go into one of the, uh, a public restroom and uh, use like an air dryer. Just don't put it too close to the dryer, just to let it dry out naturally. Uh, either set the goggle upside down on a table if you're eating lunch, or they like said, go in and use one of the air dryers and just uh, keep it away from the, uh, don't let it get too hot, but let that air just go over it and dry it out. Is there any way to put the anti-fog coating back inside the goggle once it's removed if you accidentally make that mistake? There's some aftermarket treatments, but it's still, once that's done, it's usually, there's usually some fine scratches on the inside. so. That's the rule. Um, usually most goggles come with a uh, lens cloth like this, but only use this on the outside of the goggle, never on the inside. Um, and never use like a paper towel or anything like that on the outside of the lens, because that's gonna cause some fine little scratches. So you wanna treat it like you would treat your prescription glasses with a lot of TLC. Exactly, yep. And uh, I, I did bring a couple of helmets here. Sit that down. Um, so helmet designs have come a long way. And there's several different styles. Um, this one obviously has a uh, active ventilation on the top, so you can open that up uh, to let the airflow or close it up. If it's really cold like this morning, you don't want that airflow. Um, the cool thing with this one too is it uh, it has the uh, sizing adjustment here, and you can see how the uh, the whole helmet actually closes up around your head, so it gives you that really nice full wrap and it'll open back up if you uh, move the dial um, and price wise you know level of adjustment in ventilation is kind of going to factor into the pricing of helmets um, another popular option that's been really popular the last couple of years is the integrated goggle into the helmet kind of the uh, fighter style or fighter jet style um, so that goes down over the top really popular with people that uh, have to wear glasses, stuff like that, but a really uh, pretty cool design, obviously a little pricier because you're basically getting a helmet and a goggle in one. And then uh, the third option I've got here is kind of a passive ventilation system um, where there's really no adjustable ventilation on the top of the helmet, just a passive system, um, but uh, still works really well. This is actually the helmet I use, so. That's actually the helmet that I use too. Mine is just black. <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for meeting us here this morning. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Come see the experts here at Double Diamond, though, to get all of your ski and snowboard necessities. They've got everything head to toe. Also, a great selection of gloves behind us, and they're all leather, which is going to keep you nice and toasty out there. So make sure you come see these guys. Coming up next, we have more Good Morning Vale, so stay tuned.